Joining us right now to uh, discuss the war over, I don't know we're going to say woke, I think we're going to talk about uh, and its impact on the bottom line. Brad Landers here. Uh, he is at New York City Comptroller. Jimmy uh, Upchurna says Florida's uh, CFO. Good morning uh, to both of you. Good morning. Yeah, you're, you're right here. So Good I'm just morning. Gonna, I'm, I'm going to start. I'm, I'm, I'm going to start with. I'm going to start with you. I think there were a lot of companies, including Bud Light and Target, who thought they who thought they were doing uh, the right thing, uh, both for their consumers or for the country or or just more broadly. And here they are. Uh, in this place now where there has been such a, a remarkable backlash from consumers, and it's been organic. And, and I wonder, as somebody who's been in a place where you've pushed for a lot of social progressive issues, how you now feel about all this? Well, look, you would expect that broadening your appeal, trying to appeal to a wide array of people to say to LGBTQ folks, you're welcome here, would indeed uh, broaden your customer base. But and I think that's the a, vision of America that we want to have. That's what you might think, except that you also have a fiduciary duty to your pensioners. And here we are in a situation where that may, that may not be true, what you just said. I mean, it, well, look, pension investing is different from customer selling customer goods. My job is a long-term one. A pension fiduciary is thinking about decades to come because teachers and cops and firefighters are going to be retiring. And 50, 60, 70 years from now, I've got to pay their pension obligation. So what that means to me is take a long-term strategy, not a short-term one. That's what I'm trying to do. And do you think then this is a, a are you saying this is a long-term issue or is it a blip in American culture? Boy, I hope it's a blip, but uh, that's a different uh, that's a different set of questions. When I say long term risks, I'm thinking about what the long term risks to the pension portfolio are. Right, Jimmy. Good morning. Good morning. Um, I imagine you're on the other side of this uh, than where Brad stands yeah. right now. You have companies, as I said, I I think they did it with at least with I think were good intentions. I mean, I don't think they were trying to uh, create create um, controversy. And here they are in, in, in what they imagine or think is a, is a pickle. And they're getting pressure now, not just from consumers, but the other piece of it is they're getting pressure from the investment community. Sure. So here's the way I look at it. I grew up in the restaurant business for 30 years. My family's still in it. Uh, I can't ever divorce myself from a passion that I grew up in. Uh, there was, I, I was at the restaurant the other day, I was talking to my brothers and I, you know, we were just talking shop and look, and we, we feed everybody. We, we, I'm in the customer service business. Everybody's a customer. But I know this, where Bud Light was our number one selling beer in the restaurant. We've got a big place, about 800 seats. In a week, we sold about six servings. So again, um, there, there's no demand for it. The customers are walking away from it. And I know there, there was, there was, I remember my college roommate had told me, he said, Jimmy says, never make a bad grade when you're in college because you'll be digging yourself out of the hole the whole rest of the time you're there. And this is what's happened. You know, MBEV and, and Budweiser, uh, they made a bad grade. They're digging themselves out of a hole right now, and it's going to be painful. It's going to be painful for a long time. Um, they, they treated their customers like they were idiots. They forgot who their customer was. And, and, you know, at the end of the day, you know, I, I, look, I'm, I, I'm a trustee over pensions. And all I know is if, if you create the resources that takes care of that retired firefighter that left New York and decided to settle in the villages because they left the, the tax hellhole that's up in that state, um, this, is, this is where they need to have peace of mind that the retirement funds are there. Again, poor decision by management. Heads should roll. I mean, I tell you, there's absolutely zero excuse at what MBEV did because of the ripple effect. And you know what the last thing, Andrew, that they're not talking about? I'll look at my poor route driver. These route drivers work for family-owned distributorships, okay? And they'll, they'll be committed to that company for 20 years. But now their number one product, when they make that store delivery, is no longer selling. And they're having trouble pivoting that customer into something else because what's happening with Modella, Coors Light, Miller Lite and the others that are taking over that marketplace.